Hi everybody, it's Carol. Welcome back to my channel. And what I have here is the faux paper that I made not too long ago. And this is the watercolor paper. And I brought color into it. I used, um, I used some of my crayons, my distressed crayons. And I used um, different, I have tea splattered on here and, well, sprinkled on here. And also some herbs. And then I have some little pieces of dried roses. So I'm here to decorate. So what I'm going to do is, this is my second batch of decorating with making the paper. I made, I made a few of them not that long ago so let's see i need to cut this off one and a half because i'm going to use the same measurements this is this paper is 12 by 9 and what i did for my last one the last paper that i decorated i had an inch and a half left over and I cut them to three and a half. Well, actually, I cut this in half to four and a half. So it's four and a half by three and a half. And let's see how straight I could get this or how even. I have to go through twice because this is a little hard to, not hard to cut, but it. I need to go through it twice. Okay, so three and a half. three and a half and this here should be three and a half yes so this was really a fun project to do and um, you know making this faux paper and so that's what I did a few days ago, and I'm here to decorate my second batch. Okay, now what I was thinking I wanted to do is I'm going to make a pocket on here. And I'm going to put the pocket on first and then decide whether I want to round the corners or make this into a tag shape and basically have it as a pocket tag. I don't know because it's going to be on the small side. So this has many colors in here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this is this is paper that I've had for so long it is Stamperian and it's the lilac it's this is the the lilac eh, lilac and um I mean it's beautiful paper but I want to use them up because I've had it for quite a bit and these are perfect these little squares here are perfect size for the pockets that I would use because they're three and a half and my cards that I cut are three and a half so I want to see how well I can incorporate this together okay so I would need six of them because that's what I have. And as you can see, I only have five on this side. So there's five, five little sections here. And there's a couple here I can use. This one here is a short one. So I will cut this one here out also, just in case I want to use this one. Okay, so I'm going to put that off to the side. This paper is so beautiful, and I'm really loving the, uh, I love this lilac papers here. Okay, so I was thinking of making making a pocket here and I will put the thumb hole just because I like the way that looks and I'm gonna well let me just do one at a time
Now I'm thinking I should probably ink this. I should probably ink all these all these little bits here. Let me move this on this side so it'll be easier. Okay, now let me see what which way I can put this down. Hmm. I don't, it really doesn't matter what side I use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use art glitter, um, not art glitter glue, I'm going to use this here. This is the other side of that lilac paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I could use that too also. But I'm going to use this because I I like that. I like the contrast of the, the darker color. Okay, so... And what I have now, when I make these, it's going to be like a pocket tag. If I can, I'm going to cut these corners and I'll try it with this one first and see how it looks. I think it's just going to be a little fat. But yeah, you know, like it, it doesn't look too bad. I like that. And what I made, I have these playing cards, and I've had them for so long. They were gifted to me, and I haven't used them. So what I did was I made a little booklet with, um, and there, there are flowers in here. They're playing cards. And I have three sheets of paper, you know, to write on both sides. And I thought I would stick it in here in the pot, you know, inside the pocket. I don't want to put it in yet because the, it's still kind of gluey. And I do have things here, different pieces of ephemera for crafting to decorate these. But I think what I'm going to do is maybe I'll make these pockets first. Oh, this is a little longer. And I think what I'm going to do is cut it first so that I can make my thumb hole. Okay, and then I'm going to ink it. The little, the little piece, the little petal of, of the rose. Look how pretty this side looks on there. I do like that one. All right, I'm going to use this side. Let me just ink this side. And there's quite a bit of purple up there. Or, I'm saying purple, but it's more like like an orchid. And that's what's so great about this Stamperia paper. You can use either side and they're both so pretty. When you cut the corner off, 
you know, if you just kind of eyeball them and just cut the little pointy corners off, they usually go a little a little better than making other kind of tags. I don't know if you if you can if it that makes any sense. I don't know. Okay, let's see. I think there's more purple on top. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. I don't know if you can see how good these colors are coming. I'm really liking um, the other side of this paper. I have so many projects that I have to finish up right now that, oh, it's making me a little, a little dizzy. That's a figure of speech. But I do, I have so many projects that I have started and I have to, I really need to finish them up. Yes, I like this side better. Okay, so here we go. The page that I got these off of are the little sentiment sentiment cards and you know with other paper pads that are not not double sided if you don't like the uh, sentiment on there then you there's a you know you have a, a whole lot of decorating to do to cover that up and I am just loving the fact with Stamperia that if you don't like one side you can do the you know use the other side I do like this I love them both but I'm going to use this side on this one although I don't like the word weekend on there you know so hopefully I'll cover that up oh, let me cut this corner I'm liking these tags too I'm going to move those little bits off to the side and I'll clean them up when I'm finished. So pretty. So I thought this would be something different to, to make with, with these little tags. I wanted to make the faux paper and um, use my distressed crayons just to put a little color in it with all the little tea leaves and herbs. Okay, so we have this one and this is really moving pretty quickly. This is a tall one. I think I like this side better. Let me just make sure that it's perfect. When I was when I was putting the inks on here, I thought I really didn't like the way it was turning out. I thought it was just very clumpy. And then I was putting, you know, water on it to, you know, kind of blend everything together. And then after it dried, it just I don't know, I thought it was so gorgeous. So I really love the way that it turned out. The colors blended 
so nicely together. And the paper that wrinkled, when the, when the tissue paper wrinkled, it put all these little lines in there. Which gave it so much character and this looks so pretty. Yeah, I think for the most part, I'm really liking this side of the paper. Sweet moments. And if you can see the lines in this paper, this is from the, uh, the tissue paper because it was, I used the, the uh, middle part. So it was the one right under right under the napkin itself. So it still had color from, well, I think I'm gonna use this side because most of my other papers are using, or most of the other cards are using, what am I doing here with my scissors? They're using the, um, the flower, the floral part of the paper. So I just want to mix it up a little bit. So pretty. Okay, so we have six cards here. And this one here, I'll probably make two belly bands out of this. So this is, this is nine, so this will be four and a half. I don't know if I'll do that right now, but let's see. Let's see, I have quite a few little things here I thought would look pretty. That's big. What I can do is, I think I may cut the frame off this. Or just make it smaller or see where it fits. Oh, that looks pretty there. Now these, these here little pads that I have when I'm through decorating, I'm just going to stick it in there. And I, you know, and I have six, six little pocket tags and I have six of these little pads that I use my cards and I'm just going to stick them in there. But these are not going to be in the same journal. These are going to be in different journals. So it is okay if I put them in, if I have them all kind of like the same, same decorating, same decorations. Oh, that's so pretty. And I do also, I brought along some of these really pretty tags. And I was thinking of maybe maybe putting some sorry silk on here or lace or something. Just trying to think if I want to put 
a label. Let's see, I have a skinnier label here. I just brought a, you know, put a whole bunch of stuff out. So I thought, I'm thinking, I didn't think about it earlier, but I'm thinking if I put the tag up there, this little tag, you'll see it when when the little booklet is in there. When the booklet is in the pouch, you'll be able to see the tab, the tag in there. How pretty. Okay. Let's see what I have here. I have some. Oh, that looks pretty. I could put this right over the top. You won't see the thumb hole. I always do that. I always make the thumb hole, but I usually always put lace on there. But that's okay. Maybe one of the pockets won't have a thumb hole. I mean, it won't have lace on it. They are, they're all going to have a thumb hole because I made them all. Okay, now I think my glue to, just went into my pocket. So I'm going to use my little Amazon card just to put it in there. Oh, boy. Just going to stick that there. The glue came out so fast. And this is a new bottle. I had a bottle a, while, a couple of, well, yesterday that was taking so slow to come out. So I opened up a new bottle. I started a new bottle, and now this is coming out too fast. All right. Now, did I bring my bling? If I did, it should be right here. I did. Okay. Now I do have, oh gosh, that looks pretty. I'm just going to stick three on. pretty if that looks. Oh, that looks so pretty. And I hope this is dry. I'm covering up my little bird over there. Oh, well, I have to be careful with the next one. Okay, let's put that booklet off to the side. And let's see, I want to cover up this weekend. Not, I'm um, just not having the weekend. I love weekends, but not that one. Okay. Is this one? Well, here's a long one. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm liking this one here. I'm going to put this one right there in the middle.
okay right there in the middle and let's see I do want to put something oh I'm gonna put this right there on the bottom And then if it comes out, this is twofold because it looks pretty here. And if it comes out too quickly, it's not going to go into the pocket like the other one. Okay. Okay, let's see. We'll put this, put the booklet in here. I think it doesn't need anything. Maybe, maybe just the button. Let's get a different color button. Oh, I like the button down on here. Have the pink and green button. I think they match really pretty. Oh my gosh, so much came out. Oh, that looks so pretty. I'm not going to do anything on top because, because um, it's pretty with the different colors up here and then you have the colors of the book. I think that looks really pretty. Okay, so... Let's see what we have here. I did bring some some of my birds. Where are they? Oh, here's one. Let's see if... Okay, he's going to go down there. And, oh, that looks pretty. Okay. I hope this is coming on camera as pretty as it's as what I'm seeing. I mean with you know like it could be blending in a lot on camera, I don't know, but it doesn't look like it is, but oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Oops. Okay, here's another booklet. And the, you see, you can see on the paper here the different colors and the wrinkles. I am loving the way the um, ink is picking up all the wrinkles in the paper and then we'll put the little booklet inside here i could put a a tab up here but i don't know how i'm gonna use it it could be used for journaling so it could be it could be free floating and I may even attach something on the back so it goes over a page. I don't know yet. Okay, let's call that one finished. I have to cover this up, but I don't like the wording on there. I mean, it's pretty, but maybe this calls for... I do have my larger... The fatter white one. Okay, this is perfect. This is going to go right over, but I have to be careful with the glue. So pretty. Okay, let's 
let's see if we can get I'm going to chop this down. I love this tag. And I'm just going to put it right there in the middle. Just for something different. I think it looks nice there. looks nice and what else I have these little these little flowers I can stick that one right on green that's too bright and then I have this one I'm liking that one. I do have a little pink one. I don't know what happened to it. It was right here. Oh, here it is. Oh, I like that. That's looking really pretty next to these flowers. Okay, little darling, you're going to go right here. And what about something Can I put a little birdie up there? Okay, let's get a little booklet and see. you can't really see the the bird even but I want to put something on the top so let's see if I put the booklet in this this little tag right here on the top yes I like that Ooh, look, I'm not putting anything on. Oh, I did. Okay, let's see. I have to put something. All right, so I have that flower there. Where is my bling? I think I'm going to put three green right over here. My other bling got moved because I had all my bling over here and it's getting all covered up with everything. Oh, there's the the white ones. Let me just even this hair up. That looks pretty. I probably should have put the flower up there. I mean, it's fine over here, but I bet it would, would have been prettier up there. Oh, well. 
Okay, so we have two left. And I do want to cover up the sweet moments. Oh, let's see what I have here. That could be a little too bright. I have this here. I had taken blink off here, but that's okay. I can put a button on there or something else. Okay, I'm going to put this down. I don't want to think about it too much. I see it, it fits, and it's going to go down. There we go. Okay, now I'm covering up that, those little words that I don't like. And where are my beads? Oh my gosh. I thought I brought everything with me. Oh well, you know what I can stick on here is a button. I would prefer to put a bead on there, but I'll put the button on there. I think it'll it'll be fine. Oops. I'm gonna have to tack this down with with my little about that. Oh, this little flower. It seems like there's... I don't know that this one is going to work because I'm going to put this brown one on here. And I'm going to move this off to the side. And then put a white button. Oop. Oh my gosh, everything's rolling away. Okay. And you know what? I think I like the way this one here looks better. And what can we put up here? Oh, yeah, we can't put something like that because you're not going to be able to see it. You know it's going to be nice? I'm going to put Sorry Silk Tab on the top and no matter how I use it, that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to put that off to the side and finish up with this one here. And let's see if we can use this flower here. I think I'm going to do the ribbon again. I'm really liking the ribbon. And then I will just make some sorry silk tabs. I think that's a plan.
Okay. I'm going to put, oh, that looks pretty. I'm going to put three little Three little pieces of bling. Ooh, there's four on here. Oh my gosh, it got caught underneath. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty. Let's see if I can bring in the little flower. Do I have another dictionary piece over here? I should, because I have a whole bunch of them. this down here. And then I'll grab my sorry silk and make some little, I think this is, yeah, I'm going to put this on here because it's a little, it's a little tag and it's going to get lost. Now where would I put that? Oh, that looks pretty over there. So I'm going to put that on there because I don't want it to get lost. And it will. It's so little. Oops. We have to glue down that flower. Oh, look how pretty. Okay, sorry silk time. Okay, now. Ooh, some, some of the Sorry, silk is going to, if I put them on the top, it's going to, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, let me get pinky. Oh, my goodness. I'm just looking at my sorry silk here. I'm not looking. I'm just trying to grab. Grab a bunch of it and see where I can, how I can use these. Okay, here. little strings look how wide this one is
Okay, let's attach this. Oh, that looks pretty. Uh oh, okay, we can use like a little bit. Let's see if we can open this up and then fold it. And if anything, anything needs to be shorter, like this little piece here, I'll just even it up a little bit. these little strings. Okay. Okay, this here is kind of a little wider, not as crinkly, I think. I think the other ones, before I use them, I'm going to wet them a little bit. Because that'll help to untangle. down here. I am loving the way these turned out. Turn this around that way. Okay, there you go. Let's. I just want to give it a quick look over to make sure there's nothing else I forgot to put on here. I really wish I put that flower up on this up on here. Oh well. Okay, I think they're looking good. And I love these. I love the way they turned out. So this is something different and you know, making the pouch in fact. Oh never mind. Okay. Okay, well thank you so much for coming along and joining me. And we'll talk again soon. You have a great day. Bye bye.